Joe Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. It's going to be a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. So awesome little setup on this trailer. We're not getting overly long on that overall length and on the floor. You're still getting all your necessary items that you need, just keeping you a little smaller and be able to pull it with some smaller pickups. But we'll get started right up front. So we've got our adjustable coupler. So this moves up and down and that way we can make sure you're riding as level as possible on that tow vehicle. We don't wanna be over exerting one axle over the other. That's just bad for the trailer, bad with towing. So being able to do that, get you as level as possible, helps out big time. And then what we also went and did, we have been ordering inventory trailers in with a 53 inch gooseneck drop. So that's from here down to the floor. So that extra drop is gonna give you some extra space between the truck bed and the trailer and give you some extra play in room. And then that way you're not having to ride, you know, super uphill in order to get enough clearance between the truck and the trailer. So manual crank jack underneath. And then we've got our full sized uh, spare right there. And then down on the ground, you can probably see our little battery pack. We've got it plugged into that so we can see how the lights operate on this. So if you want to operate lights, you either have to be plugged into the tow vehicle or an external battery source. Um, something like on this trailer, if you're wanting a hydraulic jack, that's something we could get installed and then we can tie the lights into that battery that the hydraulic jack would come from and you'd be able to run interior and exterior lights without being plugged into a tow vehicle. So right up here on our tack room, we've got our 42 inch wide door with the swing out saddle rack. So having that 42 inch wide door, we're just giving you more space to be able to get in and out of the trailer while having the saddle rack swung out. So I mean, stepping up and in, I'm not having to, you know, shimmy sideways or anything. I can step up and in pretty easily just by getting that 42 inch wide door. So we've got the three tier saddle rack. We can easily add another one. These are completely adjustable and removable. So if you only wanted two on here, we could back these little bolts out, one on bottom, one on top, and you could take this off. Or if you have a saddle that's got a bigger horn on it and you need some more spacing between, you'd be able to loosen those up a little and lower these as well. So that is just on a gas shock. So really easy to get in and out. And then it sits in that stationary position when you're in transport. Over on the tack door, we've got our swing out blanket pull. So this actually swings out and that gives you easier accessibility when you've got multiple blankets on there. You're trying to grab one from the middle. You can pop this out and, you know, get it out a lot easier, or put it back on easier just with that, you know, being able to swing it out like that. And that door is on a latch back. So you saw how I pulled that out. That door does move just a little bit, but that's that latch catching. And that way, if it's windy out and you're trying to get in and out of your tack room, you can have that open, latched open, and it's not going to be hitting you in the back of your knees or something while you're trying to get in. And then we also have the brush box down there. So that brush box, me personally, I keep all of my uh, stuff that I use pretty often in there. So my brushes, fly spray, liniment, hoof pick, all that stuff. And that way I'm not having to walk up into the trailer to find anything. And then you also have the window on the tack door. So you got the window on the tack door and then two up in that gooseneck nose. And that way you can get some airflow going through if you got some musty, sweaty, smelly blankets and stuff. So in coming up into the tack room, we've got this step. So that fold up step just adds some extra um, clearance. I guess you could say it's closer to the ground so you're not having to step up as high. And then you're getting a bit wider too instead of just stepping on the side rail. So a little bit safer getting in and out if you've got your hands full of stuff. Be able to get in and out with ease. So right away in here, you'll see this boot box. So three quarter boot box opens up. You got plenty of storage space in here. Be able to get your stuff in there, hide it away. And then you could double this as a bench. And then it can also go as a step to get up into that gooseneck area. So up in that gooseneck area, just some extra storage space for you, whatever you need to put up there. Or if you're in a pinch and you got to throw a mattress up there, you easily could. So then over here on this side, we've got a shelf. And that shelf's got a little lip on it, so that way your stuff hopefully isn't going to be flying all over the place while you're in transport. 
help keep it a little more contained there. And then down below you got a little uh, bar. So if you wanted to hang some show clothes, I hang polo wraps on mine right now. Um, I actually have the same setup trailer. And so, you know, usability wise, plenty of space in this tack room, be able to get all your stuff in here. It's nice having that shelf, be able to hang stuff on it underneath too, and just, you know, space saving. And then over there on the partition wall, we've got our bridle hooks with the carpet down below. So having the carpet down below is gonna help alleviate some of that swishing and swaying and rubbing that the bridles will do while in transport. So in turn, keep your bridles in good condition and keep your trailer in good condition as well. And then over in the corner, I like how we put this, this water tank back here. So that's a 35 gallon water tank. It's in the perfect spot. It's just taking up that awkward little corner right there. And so you're able to have some water from home. So being able to bring water from home, if you've got a finicky horse that's picky when it comes to new water, or if you're going on a long road trip, going up to the mountains, just being able to bring some water with you just in case or if you need it, is just a nice plus to have with these trailers. So then above the doorway, you'll see an OptiBright LED light. So those are very bright lights that are going to light this whole track room up when you're in the trailer. And then over on the roof, we've actually got this one pre-braced for an AC unit or a fan. So if you wanted to get fan, AC unit, or a little vent up there, you could easily do so. That's a majority of those on the market. That's the, the spacing that you're going to need for them. So then coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got our bus windows that open up part way. So these open up 50% of the way. And then if you un unhook them or unlock them from the inside, you're able to maneuver them from the outside without having to reach over horses or unload horses. Get your airflow going, pick and choose how much you want. Got an LED light up above the tie area. And that way if you're tacking, untacking in the dark, you can actually see a little bit better having lights, who would have known? But <laughs> it's pretty nice to have too. And you got our three ties down below. And then underneath this one, we've got two 6,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. And then you'll see that little green knob on these wheels. So that means that the tires are filled with nitrogen. That nitrogen is gonna help you run more steady PSI. It's not gonna fluctuate as much due to your cooled and hot temperatures. And then it's also going to, um, well, I said run cooler, so you're not gonna get nearly as hot running. And then if you need to, you can easily fill them with air. It's not gonna do anything, damage the tire or anything. And then you can get nitrogen put back into it. So your Cimarron trailers, they're gonna be an all aluminum trailer. You got one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with the center every four inches. So, you know, no matter where your horse is standing, unless you have something with some really tiny feet or minis in there, they're gonna be on a support. And that was a big one for me when I was looking at trailers and looking at purchasing one. Um, that's one of the reasons I went with the Cimarron because their flooring is one of the strongest on the market right now. And then they also come standard with your half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof and that has an r3 thermal value on it so you know a little more heat regulating cooler in the summer warmer in the winter and then a big plus for us down here on the front range especially it's dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail so being able to have that that roof just all in one um, just overall really really sweet to have and then coming up here into the trailer, we've got our butt strap on this last stall. So that way your last horse, if you got them tied up and you open that door, some of them like to start backing out right away. They're at least gonna hit this instead of get themselves in an accident or injure themselves. So then that just easily unclips and you can clip it over to the side. So door, or, door opening wise, we got a 60-40 door set. So 60 on the right side, 40 on this left side. So if you wanted to, you could easily close this up with your seasoned haulers and just have that one door open. And then you'd be able to get horses in and out with just that one door too. There's plenty of space to be able to hop up in there. So I'm coming up here into the trailer. On the floor right away, we've got our rubber mats. So rubber mats, they do need to be pulled about twice a year. 
you know, spray your trailer out completely, let it dry, and then bring the mats back in. We highly recommend our customers to put baking soda underneath the mats, and that's gonna help counteract the acidity in the urine if any of that horse urine is to get down underneath the mats. And then we also recommend, you know, if you know you have a horse that likes to pee in the trailer pretty often, just bed a little bit deeper and help absorb as much of that urine as possible, and that's gonna keep your floors in the best condition. So then on these dividers, they open and lay flush on the side. So they're on a spring system. So if you wanted them to clip to the side, we're on a little bit of a slant right here. So it's gonna come at me just a little bit, but you can still get this divider open with having this back door closed. So we added just a little bit of, of um, length onto the trailer in order to do so, instead of having one of those telescoping dividers. And then up here on the front divider, we got our full stud stall. So that opens up too and get all the way up there in the front. I love having the stud stall in this first divider just for the, the fact that if, if I'm only hauling two horses with me, I can use that front stall as a storage stall and nothing's gonna be rolling back underneath my horse's legs and feet because you got that stud stall going all the way down to the floor. Or if you have a horse that likes to step on its friends, um, doesn't know how to hold itself in the trailer yet, having that, that full length divider and not them not be able to get to each other, step on each other, just helps out big time for that ease of use and flexibility that you have there. So we got two OptiBright LED lights in here. Super bright, they're super nice to have when you're trying to load and unload in the dark. And then above each stall, we've got our um, roof vents. So those roof vents, they push forward and they push backward. So you push them forward, they'll help drag that air in, push them back, help drag that air back out and just keep that airflow going over your horse's head and backs. And then right here, we've got our light controls for the stall area and then your exterior lights. So you have one exterior light on each side of the trailer and then you have your interior stall lights. So I'm coming over here to the head side of the trailer. We've got drop downs on all three stalls and then we've got our jail bars that come down as well. So being able to have this flexibility of pulling this window up, pulling these jail bars down, check on the horses, offer feed, offer water as you're going down the road instead of having to go in through the back. This helps out big time with that ease of use, keeping you and your horses safe as well. So then they easily just slide back in and then I don't know if you heard that little tink that I did so that was this suctioning in to that little grommet that's right there and that's going to keep the window from slapping and hitting against your trailer as you're going down the road and then you also have the bus window within these drop downs so if you're hauling in the winter and you only want a little bit of airflow going through some ventilation you can get that open and give them just a little bit instead of the full amount. So then we got the escape door on this first stall that I was talking about. So having this escape door, you can access, if you already use it as a storage stall like I do, you can access it from the outside. You don't have to get horses out of the way to get to something. You're able to grab it from this outside escape door. Or if you need to load a horse in there and you got to jump out real quick, you can do so. And you also have the chest bar so they're not going to be hopefully not going to try and run after you as you jump out of the trailer. And then, uh, once, like I said earlier, all of these doors are on latches, so that way they stay open when you open them. So that's going to be that little system right here. So this easily comes over. I'll show you guys here. So it comes over and then this goes in to that little latch. And that's going to keep that door from popping closed on you, keep that wind from from blowing it shut. So then in this escape door, we've also got the, the drop down window. So double lock on here. I don't know if you saw me just do that. So you've got your lock on the, on the handle and then you have your but butterfly latch that comes over the top. Double lock it and that way if a horse is playing with this from the inside and gets it undone, you still got this shut and it's locked. But then you do have the drop down in that escape door as well. Make sure your horses are getting the adequate airflow that they need. So this trailer we're sitting at 610 wide, sitting at 71 tall, and then we have an on the floor length 
of 18 feet. Empty weight on it's gonna be 4,650 pounds. So, you know, most of your three quarter tons, um, always double check your tow rating. Maybe some of these newer half ton pickups might be able to pull this. That's, that's something you gotta look into. Definitely double check your tow rating. We don't want you to get over trailered and under trucked. You wanna be able to stop it. You wanna be able to get it moving forward as well. Um, so if you have questions on this trailer, uh, stock number we've got on it right now is 5N. 220 six, or 676 <laughs> that's 5n 220 676 it's a 2023 cimarron north star three horse goose snake with the front tack room so yeah if you have questions on this trailer any other trailers you've seen on our lot or on our website please don't hesitate to reach out you can call or text me at my cell phone that's 970-218-5996 you can call me at my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email and that's going to be to morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N dot noll, K-N-O-L-L at transwest.com. If you click the link below, you'll go to this trailer on our webpage and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.